Nope, it's too cold. Nope, nope, no, I'm out. So the battery on the Lexus is still very dead. Guys, so today uh, we are going to be working on the Lexus again and finally we're going to be installing the uh, bucket seat that I picked up in like September. <laughs> Basically I got this and then like a couple of weeks later ordered myself a bracket and the bracket had to be made uh, and I only just received it a couple of days ago. But anyway, we are going to be getting this in the driver's side today. We're going to be putting the seat that we turn out the passenger side back in the passenger side. Uh, and hopefully, by the end of this video, we'll have two seats, which means passengers can now come with two working seat belts, which will be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, get the. I'm actually going to bolt this seat up to the new bracket first, just to make sure, and then we'll line it up and see what it's like. And yeah, let's get this done. So before we do anything, I'll just let you know that. So this is a Cobra Monaco S bucket seat. Uh, it is XFIA approved. It is out of date. Uh, but it's okay, it's, it's still good to be used, just not at actual race events and stuff. This is a planted technology um, seat rail supplied by, made by planted technology, supplied by GSM Performance. Um, yeah, so we're going to get these bolted into the car. Uh, I just wanted to let you know what we're using, what parts it is, what seat it is and stuff. Okay, so we have the seat attached to the rail. Now, the only thing I'm noticing is there isn't a whole lot of adjustability in these holes. So, I think if the seat isn't in the right position, which, let's face it, it's probably not going to be, we're going to have to get some uh, rails on here, which I currently don't have, but uh, if I need to order them, then I will just pick up, order them and pick up the video when they arrive. But we're going to go ahead and just kind of try and get this bolted into the car. Next thing we're going to do is put the, uh, the seatbelt attachment onto this little hook uh, and then we're good to bolt this in the car and see how it sits. So the bucket seat is in the Lexus, that was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But now we need to get the passenger seat uh, back in the passenger side and to do that we first need to switch the, uh, the seat belt buckle back onto the correct side because I switched that over so I could use this seat in the, uh, in the driver's side. So we're going to take this off, get it bolted on the other side. Get the seat bolted back in. We're pretty much done here. This install has been a lot quicker than I was intending it to. Okay, seat belt is now reattached, which means we can throw this seat back in the car. We can have a seat in the bucket seat, take it a, whip, a, a ride around the yard, see what it's like, and then we're done for today. Okay, we now, for the first time ever since owning this car, have two seats with seat belts completely bolted into the car. Uh, I'm going to get in this bucket seat, see how it sits, how I sit, because as I said, there isn't any adjustability. Uh, I think I'm going to be too close, but we're going to see. Okay, first seat in the new bucket seat. Let's see how this is going to go. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Well, I'm a little close. I would say, right, okay, I'm a little bit close, but realistically I'm sitting how you should be sitting in a car like this. Basically when you're in a race car, your hands, when your arms are straight, your arms should just dangle over the, over the top of the steering wheel and it's pretty much, pretty much perfect. Um, pedals are all, they're all nice actually, they're not too close. Um, a little bit close to the door card. Um, but, in the grand scheme of things, it's actually okay. Hmm. I think, I think this might be worth a try and see what it's like. I love how this car beeps like a fucking truck. Oh, by the way, the rear coilovers are still way too low. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of scrubbing, but I wouldn't worry about it because the tires on the back are fucked anyway. So, yeah. You hear it? <laughs> um, okay, so we do sit very low on this um, with the bucket seat. 
But that was kind of expected, yeah. The camera might move a little bit. I'm gonna... Okay, so after a very short and quick drive in the car, um, I, th I think that the seat is too close, so we are going to need to get some rails. I also sit very, very low in the car, like, and com compared to a lot of things, I sit very low. And my elbow is hitting the door card, so um, I think I'm going to find any adjustment that way, because there's a little bit of side adjustment, so if I can adjust the seat a bit more that way, we'll order some rails so it can go back and put it up a little bit higher but after that seating position will be fantastic and this holds me in so much more um, I'm so happy to have a passenger seat back because now we can take passengers in the car I also went ahead and got a door card for the passenger side so that passengers can be a little bit more comfortable over there but yeah after we get some rails move the seat over a bit I think this will be a great setup once we've done those small changes move the bucket seat over move it back a bit so guys it's like a week or so later um, in fact, at the last time I filmed was before Christmas, it's now Boxing Day, <laughs> but we're here working on the Lexus uh, and I just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates as to what I've been up to. It wasn't, I don't think it was vid full video worthy, so I didn't want to make a full video, but I thought I'd give you a couple of up updates. So, last time we installed the bucket seat, um, and now, said bucket seat is on a rail, which means it goes forward and backwards really nicely. Um, we have... We now have a full center console just to make it a bit nicer. We've put a, a different radio on it um, for yeah. Uh, <laughs> and my girlfriend bought me some lovely status header mats for Christmas. So we have these installed in the car. I don't know why I say installed, I have them in the car. But yeah, uh, this video is probably a little bit late, but whatever. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the car is, this car is really coming together. It's just, I'm absolutely buzzing about it. Uh, I've also got all all four of the same wheels on now, so it looks pretty sick. Uh, there's going to be some awesome things happen with this car in the new year, and I will keep you guys updated. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. The next video you'll see, we'll be driving this at Driftland again for the second time. Um, I really should have turned the headlights off for done this. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.